of this video I would just kind of tell you a bit about like you know how I've been eating to keep from binge eating which I've been successfully binge free since coming hey guys welcome back to my first vlog on this health journey I'm gonna be doing a water fast with my faith in God and prayer and just continually saying no to myself when I want to cave I think you know I just have to get ahead a bit and uh, then I'll be then I'll be in a better place hello my name is Foodie Beauty, aka Chantal Marie Olive Zero Miriam El Refai. And I have binge eating disorder. So my weight is just creeping and creeping. Um, that's why I just wanted to do a weight update with you guys. So it's no surprise that I've been struggling with my weight and keeping my eating under control and just letting everything you know collapse so fasting i have been doing a lot of research off and on watching a lot of videos um reading a lot of article like medical articles about the benefits of fasting some of which include uh but fasting combined with prayer is just obviously you know potential for spiritual growth is amazing oh, hello there I know, okay, you can say I'm a failure. I told you so, get it all out of your system now. Let me just explain. Let me tell you, obviously I'm eating again and I'll tell you why in a minute. It's very dramatic. So I'm gonna try again uh, to get back on track. Um, even though I'm not on track for very long, I'm gonna try again and again. And I'm going to, um, really uh, watch what I eat because like I said um, have a bit of a health scare with uh, some of my numbers so I do really really want to um, reduce that especially my blood pressure hi guys so I am feeling really like I set up everything to try to do some like walking in place you know how like YouTube has those like walking in place videos? <sighs> well, I feel really dizzy and <sighs> like I realize how out of shape I am. I'm getting up there in age. I'm 39. I could be living a very active, happier life, healthier, you know, healthy. Health is happiness for sure. Um, you can't enjoy life if you're not healthy. I think I almost passed away last night. Listen. I came to a harsh realization, okay? When I did my five day water fast, that was like what, five to six years ago? My body's changed. I'm just planning on doing this on my own and with, with you guys, of course, whoever's left to support me because I know that it just seems like another irrational, erratic, crazy, um, impulsive idea. You know, getting healthy should be exciting. It's a whole new life I've never experienced and um, I don't think I can do it, so I have to prove to myself I can. I don't think that eating food, like who am I kidding? I'm kidding myself. Well, like cheesecake in moderation, lasagna in moderation. I don't think that's realistic as I thought in a way when it comes to health, when it comes to resetting my palate, getting rid of that that those urges to eat those bad foods many times as, as I've heard myself say on this channel that I have a binge eating disorder this is like the first time that I actually realize what that kind of sort of means more than ever I realize that I cannot fight this alone I need support and that it's a very serious mental illness it's not just about losing weight and that a diet cannot fix this. I've been on this journey type of thing many, many times and each time I appreciate you having new faith in me and, and coming along for the ride. Um, even if you're critical, you know, I don't blame you. I 
have a lot of trouble sticking to things and this is where I would like to really develop my character more and be more disciplined, have more self-discipline, um, learning the art of um, delay and gratification. Basically fasting with only water allows your body to completely reset itself. So there's something called autophagy. Um, so autophagy is when you don't feed your body food to digest, it starts eating um, all of the debris in your body. It's like my brain doesn't learn. Like my brain goes through a cycle. I don't know what my cycle is because people have illustrated online, people make fun of it, and I know I'm gonna get made fun of for this video. Don't attempt what I'm doing unless you have clearance from your doctor. I don't have clearance from a doctor, but I know that I've done it before and I know I can do it again. Um, actually working on not binge eating. So that's my first step. Let's try these potatoes. I'm hoping that with continuing the light exercise for now and uh, eating, staying away from really salty fried foods, which for somebody who loves pickles and cheese, that's really bad. They really, really, really um, have to value my life over pickles and cheese. I mean, you know, it's it's time. Uh, you know, because it goes without saying, you know, no no type of food is worth your life. And that's, that's 100%. These are, problems that if left untreated and not acknowledged, um, they can be fatal in the long term. I just, I really obviously don't want that. I have a lot I want to do in my life. I'm starting to feel like I have kind of cabin fever of my own body. Like I feel trapped and I just want to be let out and just be able to do a lot of things that I can't do now. So, so today is going to be a video that's going to make you roll your eyes and probably freak out in the comments. <laughs> but um, I think I want to try this before I do anything else. I did my mukbang video, the diet food yesterday, and then I have been water fasting. <sighs> yeah, for over 24 hours now. So let's see how far I can go. I wanna give my system a break. I'm honestly afraid to eat anything at this point because of how it affects my blood pressure, of how it affects my my blood sugar levels, and a lot of it involves eating every few hours um, so that you don't get that that hunger creeping in where you your mind starts going to those cravings and that you know that autopilot kicks in and you just want to eat everything in sight. So and the key uh, I found too uh, a lot of the time that I saw like similarities between these people um, in recovery was that a lot of them would eat very substantial. Um, little mini meals. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. I mean, I'm, I'm probably just gonna do this list here. <laughs> you know, um, lose weight. Um, I need to be consistent with light exercise, even if it's just walking in the evening because that will get cardiovascular system going, metabolism going. It's just healthy. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing to work out. And I'm gonna do 10 minutes um, on the machines here in our building. I'm just over it um, and exercising and like full covered you know my head covered and everything just to do it on camera I seriously just want to cry right now I don't feel like I can do this I feel really dizzy and I feel like I should exercise at first uncovered um, even like you know maybe some sitting exercises at first because I get tired very easily and it's also uh, you know I feel depressed because I realize in these moments how um, you know how much work I have to do on myself and I don't want to do it. There's food, which is my biggest escape, my biggest comfort. And if I take those away, I feel like I'm raw dogging life. Going through life is going to be 
boring. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be, you know, and I just, I know that eventually it will get better. I need to just try to get addicted to healthier habits. I know that fasting is taboo still a bit and people are skeptical. So I don't blame you. You're allowed your opinion. That's fine. Um, but I'm going to see how so it goes. What I'm trying to do is prepare meals, um, not skipping meals, but preparing meals that are satisfying, healthy, and have a bit of everything in them to satisfy pretty much every single craving that will come up, you know, and try to trigger me into binge eating. I'm not on a diet. I know people say, this is not diet food. <laughs> no, I'm not on a diet. Right now, I'm just working on not binging. My health is not good. You know, I have sleep apnea, I use a CPAP machine, I have high blood pressure, I have diabetes. I think that it's it's gonna be good for me to, to do the fasting. Also, another thing about fasting that's really beneficial for health is it depletes the glycogen stores in your liver. And, you know, I have fatty liver disease, so um, it will eat up all of that so all of that stuff in my liver. I'm so. trying to not diet, not um, adapt a restrictive diet because that will just not last. Any diet I've tried to do, just I end up just binging double time. So I'm trying to make this like a lifestyle change, a healthy lifestyle change. We can all be in this together. We can all support each other. And uh, yeah, so that's my ultimate goal with everything. Before I even start eating, this is not a binge, this is a meal from Taco Bell. This is the quesadilla and fiesta potatoes. And I got a mojito, not sure what that is. Oh, cool, has mint and lime in the soda. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. I mean, I'm, I'm probably just gonna do this list here. <laughs> you know, um, lose weight. Um, I need to be consistent with light exercise, even if it's just walking in the evening, because that will get cardiovascular system going, metabolism going. It's just healthy. There's food, which is my biggest escape, my biggest comfort. And if I take those away, I feel like I'm raw dogging life. Going through life is going to be boring. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be, you know, and I just, I know that eventually it will get better. I need to just try to get addicted to healthier habits. It's supposed to be like living up my life, you know, because I'm not getting any younger and when I get too old, I you know, won't be able to do any of these things. So I want to do things now. So I have to focus on my health journey and it has to happen. So I'm just planning on doing this on my own and with, with you guys, of course, whoever's left to support me because I know that it just seems like another irrational, erratic, crazy, um, impulsive idea. I just never fall.